Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today it's time for a shave video. Real quick, I'm gonna wet my face. Well, it's Christmas, and it's not the morning, it's the evening, and I don't know why, but it seems like this might be called Christmas Eve, but really it's Christmas Day evening. Confusing. All right, well, today's razor is going to be by Phoenix Shaving, and this is the Prismatic, and I really enjoy using this razor. I'm just not real fond of the handle but I can get past that because it gives such a nice shade and today's blade is going to be the Gillette super thin on the second use let's go ahead and take this bad boy apart and the top cap is what has the tabs I'm going to go ahead and I just put the blade on the bottom and it finds its home. <laughs> All right, now I do want to kind of check the blade alignment. The um, the razor head itself, you know, does a good job aligning it. There's not really much wiggle. I mean, there is a little bit, but not anything to be too concerned about. But I always want to just double check it. There's what it looks like. And don't forget the tabs hang over. In today's Soap is going to be Cane by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now, this particular scent, it's kind of a, it's not just a peppermint. It's almost like a candy cane meets mild, mild cad. It's got a little bit of a barbershop scent mixed into that. And I am going to be using the matching splash. Give that a little shake while we're sitting here waiting. And... I have that whipped up in my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. Now, this is the CK1. Whew, look at that. Nice. It's got the nice little sheen to it. And I'm using my beautiful Trotter's Handcraft brush. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Go ahead and get lathered up here. I shaved yesterday, but that was early in the morning. And being that this is getting later in the evening, <clears throat> you can almost say that I've got two days worth of growth. <laughs> so we had a great time celebrating the holidays and Christmas. And I am very happy that my children are now They've been for a while out of that stage where you get the boxes and all the little things are tied with a million wire ties and zip ties and you got to get batteries and putting bicycles together and programming stuff. And now it's just you give them a simple, more of an adult gift and they're like, woohoo. And that's that. And everybody gets to share the family time. But uh, I'm just telling you guys that I'm sharing a little bit of time with you on Christmas. Let's go ahead and get the shade going. And I love that audio feedback with this razor. Oh, nice. So nice. And you know, I was talking the other day about weather. And I was slightly wrong about the temperature. The temperature was correct, but at nighttime, the temperature actually dipped down into the negative eight degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold. And we've lived in this house for almost eight years now. And there was one particular I don't know why, but whoever thought of this, pardon me, those beautiful engineers. But my house is basically a three-story house, and 
the uh, top floor, the third floor is the floor that my wife and I's bedroom's on. It's got two bedrooms and then it's got the Jack and Jill bathroom. Well, for whatever reason, whoever did the designing plumbed the toilet where it runs all the way down this huge wall that you can't see. <laughs> it runs all the way down that wall and it's an outside wall. But the bathtub and the sink and all that stuff, it is not on the outside wall, it's on the inside wall. Do I get myself with the tab? Is it getting carried away? I don't think so. All right, but uh, anyway, that particular pipe on the toilet there decided to freeze up and if you guys know anything about that, that could be really uh, a bad, look at that CK1. Anyway, that could be a really bad time, <laughs> especially with it being on the outside wall. I have no idea why they would have done that, but so it goes up the, the three flights of building levels there all the way along that wall when they could have just went straight down and tapped into everything else that was in this bathroom. Anyway, it just d doesn't make any sense. And so if I would have to replace that or have someone replace it, it would turn into a nightmare. Because you know the person that would come out, actually it would be me because I don't want people to do that stuff, but I can't do that right now. So I would have to have somebody do it. But anyway, they would want to follow that same route instead of saying hey hmm, common sense let's just go straight up see where my brain goes I need the uh, star jelly while I'm thinking about it <laughs> anyway squirrel uh yeah so luckily I was able to get a heat lamp and Finding the actual bulb was a little bit tricky because now everybody's going to LEDs and LED bulbs do not put out any kind of heat. So even though it would be 250 watt equivalent, uh, it's not gonna put any heat out to be able to warm that pipe up. Anyway, I found one and I bought two just to be safe and got it home and the crazy thing was we had moved everything away from that outside wall. Had a couple of decorative things and that kind of stuff around. And I had brought up a small space heater, which you may hear that in the background. And if you do, I apologize. But long story short, after I went around searching for all of this stuff and I got it and came back home to uh, put the heat lamp on it, uh, the uh since i did everything else i guess it allowed the heat to kind of help penetrate that outer wall and uh, so the pipe was okay and it restored the pressure to that toilet which was very nice but i'm going to keep my eye on it and the temperature has gone up a little bit today i can't remember what it got down up to wow what a nice shave i'm going to go get cleaned up with some cold water and I'll be right back and finish my story. Yep, so while I was uh, doing my cold water rinse, I realized I should probably use the Frostbite Star Jelly. But before I put that on, I'm going to use the King Matching Aftershave Splash. It ah, has the nice glass restrictor. But, uh, yeah, so after I went hunting around for all of that stuff, I didn't need it after I got home. I need a little bit more of this. I didn't get enough from my neck. So I have that heat lamp on backup in case I need it again later. And I think if the weather dips below negative or you know zero my, my brain is all over the place today <laughs> it's crispy but uh yeah if it if it gets below zero i think i'll put that heat lamp in a strategic location to help out 
to keep it from doing that. Like I said, we've been here for quite some time and I've never had that happen. What a nice smooth shave. That was excellent. All right, well, am I missing anything? I don't know. I'll put a little picture right here of everything that I used and love that menthol. Anyway, that will complete my shave for the day. And I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and I will see you on the next shave video. You have a great rest of your week.